as you can imagine. Today's decision has brought out so many passionate opinions on both the abortion rights and anti-abortion sides. Demonstrated demonstrations as we see here forming nationwide. In fact, we are expecting protests in our area. We're already starting to see some form. And on not that note, we want to get to WCNC Charlotte's Chloe Leshner joining us live at the Government Center in Uptown. We've already saw in that last uh, half hour, Chloe, some folks start to gather. How's it looking at this point? Hey, Vanessa, yeah, definitely some more people have come out since that last shot we showed you. And it's not just the people that you can probably see behind me. There are people on either side and behind the camera, but things are quiet right now. Just people with signs kind of waiting for it to begin. They do have a podium and a microphone situation set up, so it does seem like they are going to have some speakers here tonight. But CMPD is aware of the situation. They're keeping an eye on everything to make sure that the community does stay safe and protected tonight. Of course, this land landmark decision that came down earlier today and the implications that it will have here on North Carolina in the long term really do depend on what happens in the election in November. While 13 states had trigger laws that automatically made abortion illegal when the Supreme Court invalidated Roe versus Wade, go back. North Carolina is still a safe state. Current state law protects a woman's right to get an abortion, but legislation to restrict access in North Carolina is likely coming after the midterm election. The Republicans do not have uh, the power to overturn the numbers to overturn Governor Cooper's veto, and it's all but certain that Governor Cooper would veto it. In a statement, Republican House Speaker Tim Moore said in part, pro-life protections will be a top priority of the legislature in January, celebrating the Supreme Court's ruling as a win. Democratic leaders calling it fundamentally wrong and vowing to fight back. Congresswoman Alma Adams is hoping people who support abortion rights will head to the polls for the midterms and vote accordingly. Uh, we're going to have to get out and fight. Uh, we have the ballot uh, that we can use, and, and I just, you know, damn it, we better use it. Abortion rights now joining the crowded agenda for the upcoming election. Susan Roberts, a political science professor at Davidson College, predicts the results could be a catalyst for change in the Tar Heel state. Candidly, I would be surprised if the Republicans um, didn't have the votes to, um, to pass this legislation. I think it'll be introduced. I think it's likely to be passed in North Carolina. And Congresswoman Adams also had the executive director of a clinic here in the Charlotte area that does offer abortions on that media call earlier today. And she said they are expecting an influx of people to come to North Carolina to get that type of health care if they live in a state where abortions are now illegal. Again, the protest here, still quiet, more people gathering, but we have a night side crew here, so we will keep you updated on what happens later this evening. Live in Uptown, Chloe Leshner, WCNC Charlotte. Yeah, we'll certainly have those updates for folks at 11 for that news at 11. And Chloe, we thank you for what you've provided for us here at 6.